Five lives ended and dozens forever changed after a man opened fire inside Old National Bank here in Louisville. Behind me, you can hear the sounds of repairs now being made to the building to those busted out windows, several of them that were shot out. The investigation is just beginning. And late tonight, we've learned one of the victims got his college education in Cincinnati. NBC confirming a photo of Joshua Barrick. The photo is on his LinkedIn page that says he attended Xavier from 2001 to 2005. This should not continue to happen. An emotional press briefing in Louisville on one of the city's worst days. We lost four children of God today, one of whom was one of my closest friends. A 911 call reported gunfire at Old National Bank just after 8.30 Monday morning. Several officers were there within three minutes, and the chief says they didn't hesitate. And for my LMPD officers who took it upon themselves and not wait to assess everything, but just went in to stop the threat so that more lives would not be lost. Thank you. The shooter armed with a rifle killed in an exchange of gunfire with LMPD officers. If we don't do it, who will? Four victims, all bank employees, lost their lives. 40-year-old Josh Barrick, 45-year-old Juliana Farmer, 63-year-old Tommy Elliott, and 64-year-old Jim Tutt. Late tonight, the death toll increasing by one, a 57-year-old woman named Deanna Eckert. Elliott, a close friend of the governor and mayor. This is really difficult for all of us across the entire city to process and accept. Tommy Elliott helped me build my law career, helped me become governor, gave me advice on being a good dad. Officials focusing their attention on the five who died, the eight injured and their families. Among the injured, three LMPD officers. Nicholas Wilt, a 26-year-old rookie, is in critical condition after being shot in the head. He just graduated from the police academy March 31st. I just swore him in. SWAT searched the home of the 25-year-old shooter, Connor Sturgeon. A bank employee, police say, live streamed the shooting on social media. Doctors and nurses at UofL Health doing everything they can to save more lives. Now, I do not know what the days ahead will be. And back out here live in downtown Louisville, where you can see broken windows still being boarded up. Of the nine victims taken to the hospital, one has died. Five are still hospitalized. That includes two people who were rushed into surgery and remain in critical condition. The chief medical officer saying that they are focused right now on keeping those people alive the first 24 hours. We're live in Louisville tonight. Jatara McGee, WNBT News 5.